Hello, my name is Cassandra Hartley and I am a BSW student here at UNCP. I started my journey in fall of 2019 and I have started interning January 2021 at Greater Vision Counseling and Consulting Agency in Rayford, North Carolina. My supervisor is Lou Evelyn Tillman. And the type of social workers that are required at my internships are licensed clinical social workers. Um, majority of the social workers that work there are associate level under Lou Evelyn. Um, she started her business in 2017 and has opened four new offices, um, one in Rayford which is the original one. The other offices are in Fayetteville, Rockingham, Southern Pines. There are multiple other levels of workers there such as office management, medical records, billing. We do work with DSS occasionally with the clients that come in with referrals. We do work with other organizations through referrals such as medical offices. When we deal with medical um, school records, we deal with schools. And the um, field experiences that I've had, I've done intakes, I've done many things around the office where there is a need I feel it. I sweep the floors, I help out with medical records, scheduling, answering the phones, sat on, on intakes in the beginning and now I've gotten to the point where I assist the clients with their intakes fully. I've sat in on sessions which I find fully fulfilling. I want to pursue my licensed clinical social worker degree. Um, licensure. The actions um, through the competencies that I have taken throughout my time at Greater Visions, I have demonstrated ethical and behavioral, which is competency 1.1. I have strengthened my professional behavior and my ethical decision making through spending time with clients. We um, go over their consent process through the intake process, through the in initial um, meeting clients, which goes into their medical records. Um, competency 2.2, the learning experiences that I have with clients when they first um, get the initial referral through talking to them with the phone uh, intakes when they come into the office whether it's having a bad day or a good day that experience that I have with clients really at night in my passion for, for more with mental health um, competency 2.3 self-awareness and self-regulation really went further with this internship. I became self-aware more of my habits and what I um, had towards clients. I was able to self-regulate my um, behaviors. I D during my time in the program, I, when we were practicing in class, I realized that I shook a lot and I was very nervous talking to clients. Well, talking to the, during the mock sessions with other students. Now I'm more laid back and I'm calm and I'm able to calm down clients because when they come into the office, they don't know, they don't know who they're going to come come see they don't know if they're gonna get help a lot of the clients that come to greater vision this isn't their first time coming to a mental health clinic this is maybe their second third fourth 
time coming to a mental health clinic and they've not received the help that they want. So they're coming to an unknown place with unknown people. So being that first face that they see is really opened my eyes to helping people. Competency 3.1, advocating for individual. A lot of the clients that come to Greater Vision because we are a rural community are referrals for DSS. A lot of them have substance abuse issues, have parenting issues and stuff like that. So they do have to, are required either court ordered or DSS required to come to these um, appointments. So a lot of the time we do have to work with DSS. So they're calling to make sure that they're coming to their appointments, that they're passing their their drug urine analysis, their substance and urine analysis, and we are sending those results or, or allowing the, the DSS worker of these results. So a lot of that is advocating for the individual. We are advocating for the client. So that competency is a, a big part of working as, as an intern at Greater Vision. And 7.1, collecting and organizing data. A big part of being an intern at Greater Vision is medical records. We spend a lot of time with the clients medical records we are the first person to touch their folder we are the first person to write their information put their information into the folder grab their folder if a therapist needs it everything so i've spent a lot of time with competency 7.1 and my agency project was creating resource binders Lou Evelyn Tillman is great for allowing interns into the agency and she has a lot of new therapists because as I stated before she has opened a lot of new agencies within the communities surrounding Robinson County, Scotland County, all these rural communities. So with that being stated what I noticed and what I asked the therapist because a big part of the intake packet is what are your strengths? What do you need? What are you um, expecting to receive with your care? So I went around and asked the therapist what they needed. And what I noticed was with the interns in the MSW programs was when they were getting a client, they did a lot of research on the clients that they were getting and it seemed like they were scattered. So with the mental health issues that Greater Vision addresses, I wanted to put all that information that it seemed like the interns were researching in one folder for each mental health um, issue that Greater Vision addresses. And not only that, I wanted to put um, mental health articles from therapistaid.com and that was a great tool that one of the therapists referred me to because not only does it give you articles and resources it gives you worksheets to give to the clients and I wanted to get resources within the community that maybe could assist the clients that was outside of the agency and not only that some mental health diagnosis and stuff reach it is different between adults and children so I made a children's section as well because we do see a lot of children within the agency so this is something that I'm leaving at the agency to help further interns throughout the from now to the end of time because I feel like Greater Visions is going to stick around because Lou Evelyn is very help she goes above and beyond with helping individuals. My future plans. I am prospectively accepted into the advanced standing MSW program that starts two days after we graduate this summer in May. Um, my plans are to get my licensed clinical social work degree, uh, licensure, and I am taking the LCAS pathway, which is licensed clinical 
um, addiction specialist. So what that is, is because mental health and what I've learned from my time at Greater Vision is a lot of our clients that do have mental health issues have substance abuse issues. So that goes hand in hand and a lot of the the individuals that come in don't necessarily have mental health but they do have substance abuse issues so I feel like this is going to help me a lot and help clients a lot in the in the long run and just be so beneficial and because the pathway at UNCP just is above and beyond it's going to help me out so much and cut my time down with allowing me to get that supervision in um, I do plan to go back in the fall back to Greater Visions because there's so much more that I can learn from Greater Visions. Every day I look forward to coming back in the, I come before they open and wait just to come in the door because there's so much that I can learn from all the therapists. They're, the population that they serve is so diverse. The clients, you never know what's going to come in the door. Um, the clients that I do intake process with, one could be a small child, the next is a grown man. Um, they all have different needs. The You never know what you're going to get and I love serving this rural community that we have here and mental health is my passion. and. That's all I have. Again, my name is Cassandra Hartley, and I am graduating the BSW program at UNCP, and thank you so much.